No, I don't have any. Sorry. All right, we're live. Okay. Okay. All right. Can you guys hear me over there? Yes, I need sir. you. We sir. All right. Well, welcome, folks. You are tuning in to the Evangel Lightning and Southern Christian here in the state tournament. We are picking up here in the top of the first. We have one out already in the inning. It is zero to zero. Josh Lumen is on the mound for the Lightning. He delivers a pitch. It's hit to right field. Right fielder makes the play. There's two outs here in the top of the first. Zero, zero. Brings up number 33 for Southern Christian, Trey Chamberlain. And I apologize for this camera angle. It's not the best, but we couldn't really get over in the other spot, which is better. So we'll do our best over here. Lumen delivers, fouled away by Chamberlain straight back. Counts 0-1. You are tuning in today with Jason Sims here as your play-by-play -play announcer. I have Luke and Libby Windsor, who are my executive producers on my left. Welcome in. Thank you. Got kind of a late start, but we just got everything set up in time. <laughs> That's how we roll with amateur broadcasting. <laughs> yep, something like that. I didn't realize the game was starting a little bit early, so I was hustling to get here. Yeah, I was watching the game, the previous game, and I was like, oh, wow, we're going to be oh, what we're a gonna catch. Be cutting it close. That ball is hit to center field. Will Welch makes a diving play for the Lightning. Fantastic catch by Welch to uh, head into the bottom of the first. So the Lightning is looking to uh, hopefully jump on the board here in the bottom of the first, but fantastic catch by Will Welch, the center fielder. Okay, we'll take a quick break and hear from our sponsors. You're watching Evangel Lightning Baseball on the ECS Athletics YouTube channel. Let Serta Pro Painters of Greystone paint your home or business with the care and attention to detail that only a local neighborhood company can provide. Contact Bill Heath with Serta Pro Painters of Greystone for your free estimate. Visit their website at greystone.certapro.com. When lightning strikes, call Craig Doris State Farm, your local good neighbor agent. With over 20 years of service, Craig and his team are ready to... Neurofeedback is training for the brain, like physical training is for the body. This is a holistic way to enhance brain performance. MindWorks Neurofeedback has been serving our community for over five years and has helped clients with many types of brain-related issues. Visit our website for more information. Located in Helena, Alabama and providing the Birmingham metro area with farm fun in the city limits. Join us in October for The Patch, voted Best Pumpkin Patch in Birmingham. Visit us at HelenaHollow.com for more information and plan to join us at Helena Hollow, where the good times grow. When it comes to environmental projects, you need a consultant with a proven track record of success and results. PPM's experience and expertise makes us one of the premier environmental consulting firms in the United States. With core offices located throughout the Southeast, we offer advisory services nationwide and are consistently ranked by Engineering News Record as one of the 200 largest environmental firms in the U.S. For more information, visit ppmco.com today. All right, we're back. The bottom of the first, lightning up to bat. Looks like we're going to have number 20, Caleb McCullum, on the mound for the Patriots. We're going to have Trey Hope as our number one batter here for the Lightning in just a moment. A little overcast day here at Clayton O'Neill Field, but it's really, really a great setup for baseball. We can see, as far as broadcasting the game, versus when the sunshine hits us sometimes. That's it's true, hard that's for true. Us to see. So the video should be fairly decent. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's yeah. also not as hot, so Absolutely. that's good. Mm -hmm. I'll take this weather all day, every day. Oh, yeah. 
Makes it a lot nicer. Looks like we've got a pretty good crowd out here. Yeah, it's good. It was completely full for the, I think it was like Tuscaloosa Ezekiel game oh, yeah. before. Mm -hmm. It was like both sides were like almost full. How'd that, how'd that game end up finishing? Um, Ezekiel won five to four. It yeah, was, it was tie really going close. in the seventh inning and they oh, wow. walked Tuscaloosa it off. Tuscaloosa led for like the first six innings with no points for Ezekiel, which was crazy. Wow. And wow. the catcher tried to pick off the guy at third base and they missed the ball and so he just ran home to end it but so that's how it ended mm -hmm. yes, sir. Wow. it was a good finish well, that's a lot better matchup than i thought that would be yeah it, it really game. was a good game and oh. i know wiregrass is here who were they playing i'm not sure i think they might get the winner of that i don't know of that game the brackets over on the yeah the i kind of glanced at it but then uh, i was like i don't remember all right so we have trey hope up as our first batter for the lightning McCollum's first pitch to Hopes upstairs for a ball. 1-0 is the count. McCollum getting a signal from his catcher. Actually working from the stretch. Delivers the 1-0 pitch to Hope. A little bit upstairs. 2-0. Cullum bringing the ball at a little slower pace across the plate than what the Lightning is used to hitting, so this may throw them off a little bit the first couple innings. We shall see. We'll see. The 2-0 looks to be pretty close, but it must have missed on the outside part. So 3-0 count to Hope here in the bottom of the first. No outs. 0-0 score. So McCullum behind in the count, 3-0 to Trey Hope. Set to deliver. That ball's going to be low. Hope draws the walk for Lightning. Do they not get walk-up music because it's tournament? Are we trying to be, like, neutral? You know... They may not have it all set for this game. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not sure who's usually controls that. Okay, yeah. We're a little early in the day, so it's mm -hmm. tough to get everybody here that has all the all that has the options. Yeah, that's true. So we got Casey Gables, I believe, who's playing first base tonight for the Lightning, squares around the bunt. Trey Hope takes off. Looks like he's going to be in the second base with the steal. Easy. So Trey Hope with the steal. So McCullum now is 0-1 with his count to uh, Casey Gables. Has a man on second with Trey Hope that he's dealing with. He delivers, the ball gets past the catcher. Hope's going to advance to third. So 1-1 is the count. We are operating at an extremely slow pace here. McCullum is, um, takes his time coming to and from the mound. Gets his sign from his catcher. Trey Hope takes his lead at third. McCullum delivers upstairs. It's going to be two balls and one strike. Cullum set to deliver the 2 1 pitch to Casey Gables. Ball misses inside, brings the count to 3 1. We are in the bottom of the first. There is no score between the Evangel Lightning and the Southern Christian Patriots. The Lightning does have a runner on at third base. Got a 2-1 count here on Casey Gables. Actually a 3-1 count. He's going to draw the walk. That ball is in the dirt. It's going to bring up Zach Grossman for the Lightning. 
McCollum doesn't seem to be able to um, even get it over the plate right now. No. If I'm the if I'm the coach, I'm uh, I'm wondering about if I need to make a move here. They may not be. They may be out of pitchers. Who knows? I Especially mean, if they played a game or two today. I don't know what what they've done. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm not I'm not wanting yeah. to coach this from the stands, obviously, but I'm just calling it like I see it. Yeah. So Gables takes off the second. He's going to stand up easy with the steal. Trey Hope holds it third. That first pitch to Grossman happens to be called a strike. So Zach Grossman looking to get him a couple RBIs here in the bottom of the first with two men on on second and third. McCullum delivers the 0-1. Grossman hits it up high into the left field. Actually, the shortstop has looked like he may make the play. Oh, has some it. trouble with it, bobbles it, and it actually drops it. So that more than likely will be ruled an error on the shortstop. It's a tough play to make, but probably an error. Trey Hope advances from third home, so the Lightning is up one to zero here in the bottom of the first. No outs. So we have Caleb Hogan, the catcher here for the Lightning. Looks like these boys are all coloring the hair. I see yeah. uh, <laughs> Caleb with blonde hair, and it's throwing me off a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was noticing him and who was it, Kemp and Trey. A lot of them have All it. of them have. Okay. All right. That's good for me to know. <laughs> all right. So the runners mm -hmm. take off, and uh, Hogan's going to be hit with the first pitch. So that's going to load the bases up. So McCollum is obviously struggling for the Patriots on the mound. Even Cade Jorner coming out to uh, speed up run for Hogan has got bleach blonde hair. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Wow. Hope these boys uh, use some natural ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> ah, they're young. They'll sweat those chemicals off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me, on the other hand, I wouldn't touch that. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so crazy, though, to see, like, half of them, and it's like – I saw Kemp the other day, and I was like, we don't have any boys with hair like that on the team. Who is that? <laughs> and I started seeing everybody do it. Some of them are a little darker than the other ones, so they mm -hmm. didn't use the same stuff. Yeah. All right, so Will Welch is your batter. Takes his first pitch upstairs. McCullum on the mound for the Patriots. Lightning leading one to nothing here in the uh, bottom of the first. No outs. Bases loaded. 1-0 is the count to Welch. Welch hits a little uh, ball to first base. He catches it in the air. So he's going to be called for the out. The runners hold tight at where they're at. So one out here in the bottom of the first. The Lightning has got the bases loaded. Lead one to nothing. Kemp Swords playing shortstop is going to be your batter. So Sword steps in up to the plate. McCullum on the mound for the Patriots, set to deliver. Sword hits a ground ball, gets by the third baseman. Nice. He's going to score one. He's going to score two. All right. So it looks like Kemp Swords. Gets an RBI double, actually a two RBI double. So he advances the second. Kate Jorner is actually going to try to advance home. He gets called out. So what that happened there was the uh, the ball got loosed on the throwback to the pitcher. The first baseman picks it up. Kate Jorner tries to take home from third. He gets called out at the plate. Uh. So two outs here in the bottom of the first. The Lightning is leading four to nothing. So Kemp Swords, who just doubled, did advance the third on that. Scott. Josh Lumen is the batter. Oh, yeah, they fixed it. Okay. <laughs> Lumen is actually on the mound for the Lightning this afternoon. Mm -hmm. At first pitch, Josh has to wait on it and is really off balance, swings and misses. 
I must admit, this guy's going to be, uh, he's hes a little tough for these boys to hit because he's not throwing very hard. Mm -hmm. He hasn't really given up any big hits. There's been the air and then that other one that probably should have been out too and they didn't yeah. get it. So That ball misses on the inside part of the plate. So the count is going to be 1-1 one, one to Josh Lumen, number 40, here for the Lightning. Kemp Zord takes his lead over on third base. McCollum sets to deliver his pitch. Josh Lumen hits it. This is going to be a looper in the right fielder, catches it in the air to end the inning. So is the score three to nothing or four to nothing? It's three to nothing. Okay. All right. So they had four on the board, but now they pulled it back. So it's three to nothing lightning at the end of one. Okay. We'll take a break. Be right back. Healthy Harvey's in Pelham, Shelby County's original premier health and wellness shop since 1978. Stop by for natural foods, vitamins, herbs, weight loss products, CBD, and so much more. Thank you for shopping local, and thank you for shopping Healthy Harvey's. Savvy Travel Group is a full-service travel agency that serves all of your travel needs. Savvy Travel Group agents bring their travel industry expertise to provide you with a wealth of information regarding travel options available to you, the best rates available, and ultimately take the stress of planning off of your to-do list. As your partner in travel, Savvy Travel Group is by your side from initial consultation until your return home. Savvy Travel Group. Cajun Boys and Our Po' Boys brings Louisiana's favorite flavors such as gumbo, red beans and rice, po' boy sandwiches, fresh beignets, and much more from the bayou to the deep south. Patio seating, live music on the weekends, and TV surrounding the whole restaurant. Perfect for football season. CajunBoysAndOurPo'Boys.com 205-624-4612 and on Facebook. A proud supporter of Evangel Athletics. All right, we're back here in the top of the second. Jagger Scott for the Patriots is at the plate. Josh Lumen on the mound for the Lightning just threw his first pitch with a strike. Lumen set to deliver his second pitch. Right down the middle, actually no, actually must have been a little bit outside. 1-1 one, one is the count. So Lumen delivers to Scott. Scott pops it straight back up, right behind, close to us. It's out of play. Count's going to move to one and two. According to Max Preps, um, Jagger Benson or Jagger Scott. Jagger Scott is the top batter for the Southern Christian Patriots. He has a he bats 450 on the year. So not too shabby for Mr. Scott. That curveball from Lumen just missed on the outside part of the plate. Two twos to count. Actually, it was not a bad pitch from Lumen right there, considering what the pitch count is. Actually, that ball is hit to second. Grossman scoops it, throws it over to Gables at first. For the first out here in the top of the second. So number nine, Jackson Frazier, is going to be the batter in the box here for the Patriots. Lumen sets to deliver. Frazier fouls that ball back. 0-1 is the count. One out here. You can tell there's just a, a big difference between Josh Lumen's pitches in the speed and McCollum's pitches. <laughs> no doubt it. No, no doubt about it. 
All right, so Frazier flies to center. Will Welch coming on strong to make the play. Out number two. So the Lightning leads three to nothing here in the top of the second. Brings up number one, Elijah Bailey for the Patriots. So Bailey steps into the box here with two outs. Lumen working for the stretch for the Lightning. He throws, first pitch called a strike. Nice little curve ball there by Lumen. Second pitch, nice little curve ball, drops right in there. The count is now 0-2 on Elijah Bailey. Lumen seems to be really comfortable out there. That third pitch, a little over the catcher's head. 1-2 is the count. So Bailey flies this one out to right field. Ooh, nice play out there. Trying to see who that is. Might be, might be Harrison George. Yeah, it looks like him. Looks think. like Harrison George, the senior for the Lightning, makes that play. Nice play by Harrison. All right, so good two innings by Josh Lumen on the mound, and we'll now take a break. Listen to our sponsors. Looking for a building company to take care of your home building needs, whether it's remodels, home additions, or building your dream home from the ground up? Donovan Builders can build in one of their many communities in the greater Birmingham area or on your lot or land. Let them help make your dream home a reality. Donovan Builders, 205-678-9481 or donovanbuildersllc.com. Trinity Contracting Services is here for all your contracting needs. We are a locally owned business covering Birmingham, Montgomery, and the surrounding areas. We specialize in home repair and remodeling. Call us today to set up an appointment for a free estimate. TCS hopes number six, Cole Romano and the whole varsity football team have a great football season. Strike lightning. Are you looking to buy, sell, or invest? Call Mandy Welch with Exit Realty Cahaba. Not only is she an active licensed agent in Alabama, but she has been investing in flipping homes for over 15 years. Call her today so she can help you navigate through the current market. Mandy Welch, 334-315-9720. Welcome back. We're live from Clayton O'Neill Field. Here in the bottom of the second. You have Harrison George for the Lightning up at the plate. Jason Sims here doing your play-by-play. -play. Luke and Libby Windsor are your producers. Actually, I guess I should say Luke is my color guy. Libby <laughs> is the producer, right? Did <laughs> yes, I get sir. that straight? Yes, sir. Something like that. I think we flip-flop rolls all the time. So yes, yeah, sure sir. What we're doing. Yes, sir. When you're an amateur broadcaster, you can kind of kind of do what you want, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can. All right, McCullum's pitch. That was the second pitch. It hits in the dirt before it gets to the plate, gets by the catcher. So looking at a 2-0 count here for Harrison George, the senior for the Lightning. The 
the 2-0. That's going to be low in the dirt for three, three O's to count here. Cullum set to deliver the 3 0. Harrison George takes this pitch. He's going to draw the walk. So George draws the walk, bringing up Ben Davis, the third baseman for the Lightning. Ben Davis, just a ninth grader, I believe. Shows you the level of his talent for Coach Smith to pull him up from the JV and give him a lot of playing time. Coach for the Patriots making his way out and then way back to the dugout after a little conversation with McCullum, his pitcher. Coach Smith pulls Davis to the side, gives him a little pep talk. He's walking to the plate. So the Lightning leads three to nothing here in the bottom of the second with no outs. Got Harrison George as the runner on first. He's got a pretty decent lead. McCullum working out of the stretch, not even really looking at George. So George takes off. He's going to steal this base easy. Well, Luke, when your pitcher does not even hold the runner own. It's a bad sign. It's a bad sign. He could almost just walk to third right now. <laughs> the way there, I mean. The second baseman is finally coming over to hold George on. I don't know if the pitcher's going to really look at him. We'll see. All right, so Ben Davis having to wait on that pitch. He fouls it straight back. 0-2 now to Davis. So. so Davis a little behind in the count. He does have a runner in scoring position if he can make some contact and punch one through somewhere. Cullum set to deliver the 0-2. George takes off, heading to third. He's going to get there. He slides head first. Wants his mama to have to clean that uniform. <laughs> All right, so Ben Davis, your third baseman for the Lightning, at the plate with a 1-2 count. That ball misses on the outside corner. Brings the count to 2-2. Two -two. George takes his lead at third. Davis has a big hole between first and the second baseman if he can punch it through. And he loops it to center. Center fielder is going to make the catch. George is tagging up. He's going to make it. So George scores on the tag up at third base. Ben Davis gets the job done with an RBI to make it four to nothing here for the Lightning in the bottom of the second. Back to the top of the order with Trey Hope. That's right. Back to the order with chemical dude number one. <laughs> For you folks at home, there are several on the team that have decided to bleach blonde their hair. It is throwing everybody off here except uh, the numbers are on their back. We can tell who they are. Yeah. Otherwise, you couldn't. So Hope at the plate. Takes that first pitch. It's going to be a ball. <coughs> Casey Gables, number 22, waiting in the on deck position for the Lightning. 
McCullum delivers to the plate. Hope swings and hits a fly ball to left. The left fielder is going to make the play pretty easy. It's going to be two outs here in the bottom of the second. Not before the Lightning pick up a run, though. Casey Gables is your batter here for the Lightning, playing first base this afternoon. Gables has been hitting the ball really well all year long. That first pitch to Gables is going to be on the outside part of the plate, called a ball. delivers the pitch. Gables is going to swing and hit that ball in the air to left. Mm -hmm. Left fielder uh, gets some action this inning. He makes the catch for the third out. So that's going to lead us uh, to the end of two with the Lightning up four to nothing. All right, we'll take a quick break here from our sponsors. Looking for a building company to take care of your home building needs, whether it's remodels, home additions, or building your dream home from the ground up? Donovan Builders can build in one of their many communities in the greater Birmingham area or on your lot or land. Let them help make your dream home a reality. Donovan Builders, 205-678-9481 or donovanbuildersllc.com. Looking for a picture-perfect smile? Visit Ortho South in Pelham or Calera. We are Alabama's most experienced Invisalign provider, and we've been helping people smile with confidence for over 23 years. So schedule your free consultation today by visiting orthosouth.com or calling 205-235-3134. And remember, smile on. Birmingham Broker was started in 2008 to help people get the most money for their vehicle. Our goal is to remove all the stress that comes with trading a vehicle or trying to sell it yourself. Avoid unfavorable trade numbers and having to meet strangers at Walmart. Let Birmingham Broker take the stress off of you and get you money in your pocket as well. Visit BehamBroker.com today. We're back live here in the top of the third. We have Noah Sawhill up to the plate for the Patriots. That first pitch was a swing and a foul back to the screen. So Josh Lumen on the mound for the Lightning. Throws his second pitch to Sawhill in the dirt. 1-1 one, one is the count. Lumen delivers, popped up over to Gables. Gables back pedals, makes the catch. We're out number one here in the top of the third. It's going to bring up number 12, Luke Rudd. So Josh Lumen pitching a solid game so far for the Lightning. He delivers his first pitch to Rudd. Fastball right down the middle, swing and a miss. 0-1. That fastball right down the middle, swing and a miss. 0-2. Lumen's fastball a little too much for Rudd so far on this one. He was way late on that one, swing. So Josh Lumen way ahead in the count. 
Brace, same pitch, nice looking. pitch. Catches him looking. So nice job by Josh Lumen. So number 14, Eli Pickard steps into the box. Two outs here, top of the third, Lightning leading four to nothing. Lumen delivers to Pickard, strike at the knees. Josh Lumen has retired the Patriots in order so far, yet to give up a hit or walk or anything. So Pickard swings and misses, 0-2's the count. So it looks like Pickard has a brother on the team too. So this is Eli Pickard here. Oh, okay. Looks like he's got a brother, Wit. Lumen way ahead in the count. Fastball in the dirt, one, two. One, two to Pickard. Right down the middle, swing and miss. So Lumen gets out of this inning very, very easy for the Lightning. Still having a stellar performance out there on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the third here. The Lightning is leading four to nothing. With over 25 years of experience in financial services, Chandler Financial Group can help you tailor a financial plan that meets your unique needs. Call Chandler Financial Group today at 205-620-9499 to schedule your initial consultation. Securities offered through Securities America, Inc., member FINRA, SIPC. Advisory services offered through Securities America Advisors, Inc. Chandler Financial Group, Inc. and Securities America are separate companies. At Davis Orthopedics, we understand the toll that athletics can take on our bodies. Our sports medicine services utilize cutting-edge surgical techniques and rehabilitation to help patients recover from injuries and surgery and get back on the field. Appointments are available online at mattdavisortho.com. Matt Davis Orthopedics is a proud supporter of Evangel Lightning Athletics. Bailey Land Group provides land survey and professional engineering services specifically related to land development. We are centrally located in Montevallo, Alabama and perform surveys across the states of Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, and Tennessee. We also provide engineering services in these states as well as others across the southeast. Bailey Land Group, where we measure our success on the success of your project. We're back here in the bottom of the third. The Patriots have made a pitching change. Now we have Noah Sawhill on the mound, who is replacing number 20, Caleb McCullough. Zach Grossman, your second baseman this afternoon for the Lightning, is stepping into the box. So the Lightning leading four to nothing here in the bottom of the third with no outs. Grossman's going to be your first batter here in the bottom of the inning. That first pitch is upstairs. Called a ball. Sawhill, number five on the mound, is the lefty. He delivers to Grossman. Grossman hits this one to left, right at the left fielder, but it gets by him. So Grossman is going to be 
at least with a stand-up double. He's going to try to make it a stand-up triple, and he does. Zach Grossman with a triple to left to get this bottom of the third started for the Lightning. Brings up your catcher, Caleb Hogan. Starting to get a lot more action with fans showing up at the ballpark. We actually have uh, the Lady Lightning on the softball field over here to our right. So a lot of noise out here. Caleb Hogan, big swing and fouls it back. 0-1 is the count. The Lightning, Zach Grossman is on third. No outs here, bottom of the third. Saw Hill on the mound for the Patriots. Caleb Hogan rips one, this foul past third base. It's going to bring the count to 0-2. Saul Hill set to deliver the 0-2 pitch here to Caleb Hogan. Hogan rips it. Shortstop tries to make a play. He bobbles it. Safe. He's going to get through first base. Safe. Grossman scores for the Lightning. Brings the score to 5 to nothing. So Caleb Hogan with the hard-to-play hit to shortstop. Actually going to rule that a single. Gets an RBI, scores Grossman. He's got a speed-up runner, Cade, Cade Joyner, who is now on first for him. Brings up your center fielder, Will Welch. So Cade Joyner takes the lead. Welch hits it right by the third baseman. It's going to at least be a single. Coach Smith is going to hold up Joyner at second. So Will Welch, nice little single by the third baseman there on the first pitch to him. So Josh Lumen, your pitcher this evening, who's doing a fantastic job, is going to be your batter. Lumen, a senior. So he's trying to get his last couple of bats here before the end of the year in and uh, finish the year out strong. Actually, Kemp Swords is going to be your batter. Lumen is going to be on deck. So Swords is playing shortstop tonight. He squares. Catcher throws down. Joiner in easy at third. Will Welch advances to second. So Kemp Swords is your batter. Kemp is a junior. Also plays the quarterback position for the football team. He takes the pitch from Saw Hill upstairs. Saw Hill last pitch was upstairs as well. Sword is going to fly that out to, looks like the right fielder is going to come over and make the play. But Cade Joyner is going to score on the tag up. So Kip Swords gets an RBI sacrifice fly to score Cade Joyner from third base. So the Lightning lead now jumps to six to nothing. Now we have Josh Lumen. All right, so we have one out here in the bottom of the third. Josh Lumen is up to bat. 
Will Welch is your runner on second for the Lightning. Sawhill steps off the back of the mound. Steps back on the mound. Gets his signal from his catcher. Sets the deliver the 0-1. Lumen is going to sit there and watch the curveball hit in the dirt. Count is going to be evened out, 1-1. Will Welch advances to third on that. So the Lightning, one out here in the bottom of the third, leads six to nothing. Will Welch on third base in scoring position. Josh Lumen, your pitcher, up at the bat. 1-1 one, one is his count. He takes that third pitch upstairs to make it 2-1. Saul Hill fakes the throw over to third. Welch is taking a big lead. Come back now. The 2-1 to Lumen. That's going to be called a strike on the inside part of the play. Lumen gets his signal from Coach Smith at third base. Two-two the count here on Lumen. Sawhill delivers. That ball's popped up to the first base side. First baseman says he got it. He makes the play. Two outs here. Bottom of the third. Brings up the senior, Harrison George, who's playing right field tonight for the Lightning. Or this afternoon, I should say. Harrison George steps in here in the batter's box, looking to get him a hit and score Will Welch from third base. That first pitch is going to be called a strike. Floater by Saul Hill. Must have, must have caught some part of the plate, though. Looked like it was a little high. But the umpire's been pretty consistent here tonight, so. At least he's being... Pretty steady. So that second pitch just misses on the inside part of the plate. 1-1 one, one is the count to Harrison George. He gets his signals from Coach Smith. That pitch is going to be in the dirt from Saw Hill. So 2-1 is going to be your count here with two outs here in the bottom of the third. Lightning leads six to nothing. Will Welch takes a lead on third for the Lightning. Saw Hill delivers. Harrison George fouls it straight back. We don't have much of a breeze out here at Clayton O'Neill Field. There's going to be a steal. <laughs> Will Welch attempts to steal home. The pitcher uh, remains steady, though, and throws it in there for a strike. So that's the end of the third inning. Lightning's still up 6 nothing. We'll take a break and listen to our sponsors. Enhanced Dental is redefining the dental experience by helping you achieve and maintain comprehensive dental wellness. Dr. Morris and his staff are highly skilled and trained in several areas of dentistry, including preventative and general dentistry, root canals, dental implants, and cosmetic dentistry. They pride themselves on providing painless dentistry with a focus on aesthetics and helping you maintain a healthy smile for life. Contact Enhanced Dental today to schedule your appointment and experience extraordinary dental care. Strike lightning.
Are you looking for a skilled and experienced realtor in Alabama? Look no further than Jennifer Smith with Keller Williams Metro South in Alabaster. Jennifer specializes in helping clients buy, sell, and invest homes in Shelby County. With her expertise and dedication to her clients, Jennifer is committed to bringing hope to every home, one key at a time. Contact her today and take the next step in your real estate journey. Located at 4300 Highway 31, just north of Publix in Calera, Mac Animal Hospital is committed to restoring and preserving your animal's health. Through consultation and diagnostic treatment, using innovative technology, they provide the most advanced veterinary medicine to treat their patients. They're open Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. and Saturday, 7.30 to 10.30 a.m. Dr. Parker, Dr. Gillespie, Dr. Brune, Dr. Morris, and the entire staff are proud to support the Evangel Christian Lightning. Welcome back. We're at the top of the fourth here. Jed Scott, the batter for the Patriots. Lumen's first pitch. Pitch is in the dirt. Second pitch is in the dirt as well. So Jed Scott ahead in the count here, 2-0. Lumen has thrown a solid three innings so far for the Lightning. The Lightning leads six to nothing. Just started the top of the fourth. Scott rips that one to left. He's going to get a single out of that. First hit of the game for the Patriots. So Trey Hope. Playing left field for Lightning, makes that play, gets it back in. Jaden McKee, number eight for the Patriots, steps in at the plate. Scott takes his lead on first. Lumen delivers. That ball is in the dirt. Scott holds on first. Hogan gets it back to Josh Lumen. So McKee steps back in with a 1-0 count. Scott stealing second. Hogan overthrows the second baseman, but Grossman is there to back it up. So Scott steals the base for the Patriots. So McKee with a 2-0 count, looking to get the Patriots on the board with a runner in scored position. That third pitch is upstairs from Lumen. So he falls behind McKee, 3 0. McKee squares around the bunt, pulls it back. That pitch is going to be called a strike. Jed Scott for the Patriots takes his lead at second. McKee, the batter, hits a little dribbler that's going to be foul. Job by Lumen down the count, 3-0, getting him back to a full count here. So the pitcher Lumen and the hitter McKee are going to have to do battle here with a 3-2 count. Lumen throws it over the second, gets Scott back. Just trying to keep him close. Scott's got time out. Pulls his batter's gloves off and shakes him out. We're back in business. Lumen back on the mound. 3-2 the count here to McKee. Scott takes his lead. And he strikes, well, fouled it, I think. Fouled it off, I guess. He fouls it off to stay alive. Hard to tell if that just got by the catcher or what. But he did uh, He did catch a piece of it. It's hard to see right there. So 
So McKee is going to hit a gapper. Scott is going to realm third. He's going to be held up by the coach. So McKee gets a single. Scott advances from second to third. So the Patriots have a man on first and third here in the top of the fourth with no outs. They are down six to nothing to the Lightning. First time this game that the Patriots are showing some life on offense here. Back-to-back -back hits. Going to bring up Trey Chamberlain, number 33. Looks like his dad, Chip, might be the head coach for the Patriots. That first pitch to Chamberlain is low in the dirt. So the Patriots have McKee on first, Scott on third. Chamberlain at the plate. Blumen delivers the second pitch. It's going to be upstairs. Count's going to be 2-0. So Josh Lumen. Already pitched three solid innings. Looks like he might be getting a little tired here in the fourth. Chamberlain set to receive the 2-0 pitch. Curveball going to be called a strike. Hogan throws it down. Hits off of Grossman's glove. So Scott is going to advance from third to home to give the Patriots their first run this afternoon. So the Patriots on the board here at the top of the fourth with no outs. They have a man in scoring position and McKee on second. Chamberlain stepping back in the box for the Patriots with a 2-1 count. Lumen working from the stretch, looking McKee back. Delivers the 2-1 upstairs to Chamberlain. Question whether or not Chamberlain went around on that, but umpires are, are going to say he did not. I agree with that. Chamberlain looks down to his dad, I believe, to get his signal. McKee takes his lead on second. Lumen delivers the 3 1. Happens to be in the dirt. Actually, the scoreboard is now showing it's 3-2. So it's a 3-2. I think they count. said he did go on that. Okay, so they did did say that. Okay. Check swing. That would make sense. So Chamberlain pops it up over here to Ben Davis just outside of third base. Davis makes the play easy for the second out here in the top of the fourth. Brings up Jagger Scott. Now, Luke, I think you were saying that Jagger Scott might be their uh, top hitter. Yes, sir, that's what it said. So. so Jagger Scott having a pretty good season for the Patriots. He's got a man uh, in scoring position on second base. He takes the first pitch from Lumen outside in the dirt. So I believe there's one out here in the top of the, this, yes, the top of the fourth. Patriots did score a run. Closes the gap just a tad. Six to one is now the score. The Lightning is still up. Jagger Scott, your batter. He takes that one one in the dirt, brings the count to two one. I think the scoreboard is wrong because the ump just said 3-0 okay. to him. I think they were all low. but I just correct. I'm looking at game sure. changer, so it looks like it is a 3-0 count. That's why I love game changer. Mm -hmm. It is so I nice. I could cross-check this thing. Yeah, it's, it's really well With set no up. stats or nothing to work with. Mm -hmm. They change it. All right, so Scott – He's going to hit that ball oh. in the gap. McKee is going to come around third. I believe he's going to score. Hope throws it over the catcher. He's going to third. And actually, he's going to end up at third base. 
So Jagger Scott going to be credited with the double. Will advance to third on the overthrow. Past the catcher. Gets an RBI in the process. So the Patriots once again score another run here in the top of the fourth with just one out. It looked like both Davis and Swords had a chance at that ball. They just neither of them came up with it. It was perfectly uh, placed right. right between them. Neither one of them could come up with the play. So Jackson Frazier is going to be your hat your batter here. Scott takes his lead. That first pitch is going to be called a ball on the outside part of the plate. Six two your score. First game here for the Lightning in the state tournament. Lumen, second pitch is in the dirt. So Frazier ahead in the count, 2-0. He's going to hit it, ground out to Gables, the first baseman, who's going to step on the bag, make the play, but not before the run scores. So the Patriots pick up another here. 6-3 is now the score. Cut the lead in half in the first part of this fourth inning. That's why you can never get too comfortable in these baseball games. These leads so. will get cut in half really quick. Elijah Bailey, the hitter for the Patriots, takes that first pitch, swing and a miss. Two outs here, top of the fourth. Josh Loom is still on the mound for the Lightning. Threw a pretty solid game up into the fourth inning and is running into a little trouble. Nice pitch there. That second pitch. 0-2 according to the strike. So Bailey is the number one hitter for the Patriots in the number one slot. Takes that for a ball. One, two. Lumen set to deliver the one, two pitch. That's gonna be upstairs. So 2-2 two -two is your count. That ball is hit in the gap between uh, right field and center. Bailey is going to at least get a double out of this. He's going to stretch it out to three. Ball is going to be thrown to the third baseman and uh, gets by Ben Davis, but uh, Josh Lehman there to back him up. So umpire is going to make him hold at third base. So Bailey with the triple here with two outs here in the top of the fourth. It's going to create a, uh, a timeout situation where Coach Smith is going to walk out to the mound and talk to his pitchers. Looks like he's going to make a pitch and change. Looks like Lumen is going to go to play right field now. Harrison George, the senior, is going to come in. So we're going to have... Garrett Jones. Garrett Jones come in to pitch for the Lightning. So Garrett Jones, a sophomore, actually received a pretty good bit of action this year from Coach Smith. He's put him in in these relieving type situations pretty regularly. Actually finished out the last game for the Lightning over in Coosa Valley, did a great job. He does come in with uh, two outs. Also, he has to deal with a runner on third base. So the 
Patriots are going to have uh, the third batter up in their order, Noah Sawhill. I believe Sawhill is actually on the mound right now for the Patriots. Southpaw. Mm -hmm. So he's going to look to try to help himself out. We got three umpires in the field this afternoon. Normally we have two. We have three today because this being the state tournament, they want to make sure that they have as many eyes as possible out here. Yes, sir. Even more important tomorrow, Miss mm -hmm. Tomorrow will determine who the champion is. Yes. So is Wygrass the two seed? I guess we're the one seed, but. I, I haven't I seen the bracket, but my guess is Wirehouse is probably the two seed. Mm -hmm. I think Ezekiel's third, and then. I don't know. Yeah. Something like that. I'm going to go take a look at that, actually, there and see. Go. Thank you, Libby. All right, so. Noah Sawhill is your batter here for the Patriots. Garrett Jones now on the mound for the Lightning. He throws his first pitch. It's going to be a strike right down the middle. So Jones comes in, having to deal with a runner on third with two outs here. Patriots have cut the lead down, 6-3. to three. That last pitch by Jones was outside in the dirt. 1-1 one, one is the count to Noah Sawhill. So Jones steps off the mound just to take a little breather. He's back on the mound. He's working from the stretch, looking over his runner at third. Throws a great fastball right down the middle. So Sawhill behind in the count, one, two. He is your pitcher for the Patriots at the moment. So Garrett Jones delivers that fastball, gets fouled straight back. So Josh Lumen threw pretty much three and a half innings for the Lightning before being pulled out for Garrett Jones. That ball is upstairs. 2-2 Two -two is your count. Jones throws the fastball by him. Nice job by Garrett Jones. The sophomore coming in and shutting Noah Sawhill down. So we're going to move to the bottom of the fourth, but not before the Patriots close the lead on the Lightning. The Lightning went into this inning with a 6 to nothing lead. Patriots pick up three runs to close the gap. Well, we'll take a break. Be right back. Team Massey Properties has 44 years of real estate knowledge and experience serving the real estate needs of Shelby, Jefferson, Chilton, and surrounding counties. Offering aggressive marketing strategies to position your property for the sale in an ever-changing real estate market. Commercial, residential, investment, land, and farm real estate services. Call or text Matt Massey for all of your real estate needs. Let's go Lightning! Locally and family owned over 21 years, Pet Stop Pet Fence Systems of Alabama has supplied over 9,000 families with the very best in pet safety and training equipment since 1994, containing over 11,000 pets. Our Pet Stop electronic pet containment systems are unmatched in the industry. With literally thousands of possible configurations, our products can be specifically tuned for your dog or cat with independently adjustable receiver settings for each pet. Give your pet the freedom to roam in your yard off leash today. Making a big decision in life, you want advice and help from many trusted friends, right? 
Well, buying or selling your home is a big decision, and that's why you should trust Magnolia Realty Group with Realty South. They're different because of their unique approach. When you choose them, you get not one, not two, but three experienced realtors working for you, each with expertise in all areas of the real estate market since 1997. Magnolia Realty Group with Realty South covers all of Shelby County. Call Eileen, Candace, and Kelly with Magnolia Realty Group. Back live here in the bottom of the fourth. Ben Davis going to be your batter for the Lightning. The Lightning hope, hoping to put more runs on the board. Patriots cut their lead from 6 0 oh, to 6 3 in the top half of the fourth. Ben Davis, your third baseman at bat. Noah Sawhill, your pitcher. Davis bunts one down the third. Pretty good little bunt. Davis with his speed is actually going to beat the throw. So credit Ben Davis with a nice little bunt single down the third base line. We're going to bring up our left fielder here, Trey Hope. Trey Hope getting a signal from Coach Smith. The Lightning really has not bunted a whole lot this game. They may uh, start doing that. Hope squares, pulls it back. That pitch is going to be called a ball. one owes the count. Ben Davis takes his lead for the Lightning. Hope squares. He, del he delivers a bunt down the first base side. Uh -huh. It's going to roll foul. First baseman touches it outside of the line. Ben Davis is going to have to retreat back. So, hold on here. What happened? Yeah, why is Trey? I don't know. What why is, why is Hope done? That was definitely foul. Did he know. step on the plate? He might have. I don't know. I'm going to assume that Hope must have stepped on the plate. The umpire must have called him out. I was too busy watching the ball, so. I did see him come out a little bit okay. before he hit it, so that he had was to be. probably over the plate. That had to be what happened. All right, so we're going to go under the assumption that Trey Hope tried to lay down the bunt, accidentally stepped on the plate, created the first out here in the bottom of the fourth. Casey Gables, your first baseman, up at the bat. He squares. Ben Davis takes off from first to second. He's going to slide in there with a steal. So Gable's looking to get him a RBI here with this at bat. Davis looking down to Coach Smith. Takes his lead now. Gable's back in the box. That pitch is going to be a ball on the inside part of the plate. I believe that's going to be a, is it a 1-1 one -one account or is it a 2-0 count? 2-0, I think. 2-0 count. It says 2-0 anyway. All right, so game changer showing 1-1. One -one. The board shows 2-0. That pitch is going to be on the outside part of the plate called a ball, so that's definitely going to be ball number three. So it looks like Gables has a 3-0 count. Sawhill delivers. Gables takes that pitch on the outside part called a strike. Going to bring that count to 3-1 here. So there's one out here in the bottom of the fourth. Gables is your batter. Grossman is on deck. Gables swings, pops it up to the first baseman. Is he going to make this play? No. Oh, no, he did not. So that ball is going to drop for a single, and Ben Davis is going to advance to third. The first baseman and the second baseman had a little cross-up with their signals there, and neither one of them could make that play. Second baseman should have t taken control and made that play, but he thought the first baseman was going to take control and make the play. When the first baseman started backpedaling, I knew they were in trouble. Yes, sir. 
So Zach Grossman is your batter. Zach playing second base for the Lightning tonight or this afternoon. He squares. He pulls it back. Casey Gables makes his way to second. So he's got two runners in scoring position with one out. So Gables is on second. Ben Davis is on third. Zach Grossman at the plate. 0-1 is his count. He's big swing and miss, and he hits it. Looks like it's going to be a gapper. It's going to fall. It's going to roll to the fence. Grossman with his speed is probably going to stretch this out to three. He's going to get there easy. So Zach Grossman with a two RBI triple here in the bottom of the fourth. If I'm not mistaken, that maybe Grossman's second triple. Of the I day. was going to say that. I think that's his second. I think he hit that one to left. They got through. He's got one this. Uh, he's got this. I think wrestling move that he likes to pull over there when he does something good. So I, I'm pretty sure I saw that earlier, and he was on third base. So Caleb Hogan, the catcher, takes the first pitch ball. So the Lightning picks back up two runs. Now they now lead eight to three. Hogan hits a long ball and I can't see it. It Think might get out of here. Oh, oh yes, <laughs> Caleb Hogan with the with the home run, the two Ronald. run homer. Nice job by Caleb. I believe that is his third home run of the year. I think it is. I saw that. Hard to tell where that was going to land from where we're at because our view is being blocked by the, the home team dugout. But that I knew it had the distance. I just didn't know if it was going to stay inside the foul pole or not. It was right along the line that it stayed in. Nice job by Hogan. Good hit. Really didn't get all that ball either. Or at least it didn't sound like it. So Hogan puts the Lightning up even further here in the bottom of the fourth. They are up 10 to three now. Looks like the coach for the Patriots is still gonna stay with their pitcher, Saw Hill. Hogan's granddad doing what he usually does, which he should do. He goes and gets his grandson's ball. He's got a smile on his face. Love to see that. Flips it to his dad. I believe that's ball number three for this year for him then. Will Welch, your center fielder at the plate, takes his first pitch upstairs for ball. Welch drills it right back up the middle. He's going to get the first base easy. So Kemp Swords, your junior, playing shortstop here this afternoon, getting his signal from Coach Smith. Two outs here, bottom of the fourth. Swords takes that first pitch upstairs. 1-0's the count. Swords rips that one, just misses Coach Smith over there. Song <laughs> jump. Sigling to, signaling to Coach Smith, hey, my bad, Coach. I almost <laughs> took you out. Not a good feeling when you rip one that close to your head coach. It's part of the game, though. Nice little curveball by Saul Hill. Umpire must have uh, thought it came across a little high. Look good from here, though. Two and one in the count. Saw Hill a little lefty on the mound for the Patriots. He is. He batted right, though. He throws left. Yeah, he's a right-handed batter, left-handed pitcher. 
struggling a little bit this inning. He didn't start the game. He came into relief. He's going to throw back over. Welch is going to slide back in easy. Swords waiting patiently at the plate for his 2-1 pitch, I believe. So Will Welch is going to still second. So the Lightning up 10 to 3 here, bottom of the fourth. Is it one out or two outs? One, I think. Okay. Game changers got two, scoreboard's got one. I'm pretty sure there's only been one. Somebody's but not right. I think when Trey stepped on the plate was the only okay. out we've the only had. Out. Swords takes a strike across the middle there. He's going to draw the walk. Will Welch is going to advance the third on the pass ball. Josh Lumen, who is now playing right field, who started on the mound for the Lightning tonight, is now at the plate. Looks like Garrett Jones, who is now pitching, is on deck. So Josh Lumen takes the first pitch ball. Will Welch is going to come home. He's going to stand up, touch the plate. Make it to 11 to three now for the Lightning. Kemp Swords advances from first to second. So is the run rule, is it 10 for four innings or is it more than that? Maybe 12 after four, 10 after five. Okay. I could be wrong. I think it's four, maybe maybe four after ten, and three, three in, maybe twelve. That curveball from Saw Hill is called a strike. <laughs> Lumen takes that ball inside. Looks like it's a 2-1 count. Can't see the, one of the umpire's fingers. Lumen, it's a fly ball on the left. It's going to drop. That's going to score Kemp Swords with his speed to make it 12-3 for the Lightning. So Josh Lumen gets a single to left, scores Kemp Swords from second. Garrett Jones batting now. So Garrett Jones, your current pitcher up at the plate, doesn't get a whole lot of at-bats. Looking to see what he can do at the plate. So Lumen is going to steal second. Ball is going to be thrown into center field, but Lumen is going to remain at second. That last pitch was a ball to Jones. That pitch is going to be low and outside for ball number two. Third pitch upstairs to Jones. Ball number three. It's 
So Jones may just draw a walk here. That's going to be called a strike. So Garrett Jones draws the walk. I'm sure he's going to have a speed up runner. Looks like Brooks Booth, the senior, is going to be his speed up. So we're sitting here, bottom of the fourth, the lightning on top, 12 to three. Looks like we're gonna have a pitch and change. You all wanna go to commercial break? Uh, Sure, let's do it. We will be right back, folks. Have you outgrown your space? Looking for land so your kids can go outside and play? Or maybe you are looking to invest in real estate, grow your own portfolio. In any case, you need to talk to Sonia Swords at Exit Magic City Realty. Sonia is a top producing realtor and her experience and knowledge will help you through the entire process. Mention this ad and you will receive a $250 credit toward closing when you list in 2023. With Sonia, you will always have a friend in real estate. Sonia Swords, Exit Magic City Real Estate. Window Wonders 205 is a local residential home window replacement company. We replace your old windows with high quality, American made, energy efficient vinyl windows that have easy open and easy clean features. Our windows are tinted, filled with low E argon gas, and come with a lifetime warranty. Tad Samples is your owner, salesperson, and installer, so you only have to deal with one person. Please call today for your free estimate. So Homewood School of Music is just that. It's a school, it's a place for education. We are not a retail location. Private instruction, group classes, uh, we teach all ages. Basically we can take everybody through whatever levels they want to go through. We can teach soloing, rhythm, theory, ear training between all of our teachers and our backgrounds. With the collective experience of our teachers at Homewood School of Music, we have seen our students go on to great and exciting things. One was even a Grammy-nominated artist. Others have gone on to teach in the high school, college level, and in the private sector. Some are even right here at home and are competitors of ours, and we're very proud of all of them. I can't imagine doing anything else. I just, just love to do it, very passionate about it. Our aim is to enrich lives of students with music education and empower them with musical abilities. We're back live with you. Jason Sims here, your play-by-play. -play. Luke Windsor is my color guy. Libby Windsor is my executive producer. Or I should say I am their play-by-play -play guy. They run the show. I'm talking like this is my network. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't do that good of a job announcing if we didn't have you. So. They are, they That's are, true. They are uh, allowing me to have the pleasure of announcing this game. You're letting us do it by announcing. <laughs> we wouldn't do good otherwise. <laughs> Ben Davis is up at the plate here. The Lightning has two runners on that just advance to the next base. So Josh Lumen advances from second to third, and Brooks Booth advances from first to second. So we're in the bottom of the fourth. There was just a pitch and change for the Patriots. The Lightning leading 12 to three. I believe there's one out. Ben Davis at the plate. I believe this is uh, number one, Elijah Bailey on the mound for the Patriots. So the one-two pitch from Bailey. Ben Davis drills it to left. Center fielder makes the catch. 
Lumen tags up at third. He scores. It's going to make it 13 to three for Lightning. So Brooks Booth advances from second to third on the sacrifice fly. Lumen advances from third to home. Ben Davis does his job. That might be his second sacrifice fly of the game. I'm not sure. I do recall him having one, I believe. So I'm going to give him credit for two. Trey Hope playing left field for the Lightning steps in here with two outs. Elijah Bailey now the pitcher for the Patriots. He delivers the pitch in the dirt. Catcher scoops it, throws it back. Brooks Booth came in as the speed up runner for Garrett Jones. He's now taking his lead on third. Casey Gables on deck for Lightning. Bailey delivers his pitch from the dirt. He falls behind the count 2-0 to Trey Hope. Third pitch from Bailey. Going to be inside. Ball number three. So Coach Smith giving a signal to Hope. That's probably, uh, hey, man, if it's down the middle, rip it. He takes the fourth pitch for a ball. So Hope draws the walk. I imagine he'll steal second. Of course, there is two outs here. So Gables, the first baseman for the Lightning, steps in. Hope takes off the second. Catcher decides not to throw down. Brooks Booth has to retreat back to third. Gables up the middle. That's going to get through. So two runs are going to score. And um, that is going to be the ball game, folks. So the Lightning is going to win this one 15-3 on Gables single up the middle. Thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it. Luke and Libby, I'll let you all handle it from here. Thank you. Strike lightning. All right. 